Can let one of us find out the cause of this. Find out who has the constitutional authority to order soldiers. Why are you people you know? not coming out to say anything? Why are you people no, silent? No, no, no. Why are you not fighting for us? Why are you not fighting for us? This is how people are being killed. Why are you people silent about it? If you kill everybody, if you kill everybody, why are you going to govern? You are going to govern yourself and the goat and the and the police that are the house. Hello? We can hear you please. Okay. I'm not the commander in chief. Are you trying to are you trying to are you trying to track us now so that you can track us and come, and come and kill us, Abby? Why are you people not saying anything? You are just being wicked. You are just being wicked. Are you happy about this? You are, you people are old. Let us have peace of mind. Give us a good government. That's what we want. Are we asking for too much? Don't you have children too? Are we asking for too Don't you have children too? What is all this? Your children, children will grow up and you'll be dead by then and they will suffer for everything that you people are doing right now. You don't even read your social media. You don't need to understand. You don't even think about tomorrow today. You don't even think about the lie. They feed you lies. They feed us lies. Is it not what we are seeing? Who ordered the soldiers? Who are we are sure you have powers over this. We are sure you have powers. Don't we have the right to protest in this country? Why are we a citizen? Why are we suffering? Are we born to suffer? Why do you believe it is me who ordered the army to Because you are the one with the talks, as always. You are the one with the talks. You are the one who is always doing this. You are the one now because they locked down toll gates. Because you can't make the money you have. You haven't made enough money. For goodness sake, how much money are you going to spend till you die? Who, how much money? Who told, you, who told you that I'm the owner of toll gates? How much money are you, go are you going to be denying this, sir? You are old. You have children. You have children, children. You have children, children, children. You are not going to be alive forever. That's what you should know. You will not be alive forever. And when you are gone, they will continue to suffer for all these things people are doing. People came yes. out to protest peacefully. They didn't attack anybody from day yes. one. Then yes. you yes. people started sending talks everywhere. Everywhere is Fellow Nigerian youths, I can now remain a soldier when my fellow youths are dying. I cannot remain a soldier when my people are being killed my sisters are being killed i want to give you this information the only thing that will bring the attention of the international leaders is if you burn down the asorok and to burn down the asorok is as easy as anything as i am speaking to you right now the youths if you really want to get what you are protesting for, your politicians are so evil. They don't have any repentance in them at all. Satan is a very holy person compared to your politicians. And those soldiers that are killing you, they are repentant Boko Harams who have been recruited to become former Lega Boko Harams, legalized Boko Harams, and they are killing you. For you to be safe, for you to get what you want, for your protest to achieve the purpose of that protest, burn down the Asorok with immediate effect. Don't let this week come to an end without you burning down Asorok. They will see you as cowards. The people you are dealing with cannot retreat. They don't see you as human beings. They don't even understand dialogue. They don't even know what it means to talk and know what the people want and do what the people want. They will never agree to do what you want until you apply a force that is greater than the force they are bringing towards you. The population of youths the population of youths is about 500 percent it's about 5,000 percent of the nigerian soldiers so what can they do to you that is one soldier to face 5,000 youths one soldier for 5,000 youths 
So should you people allow these people, just just one person like this, to threaten 5,000 of you youths? What do you think? Wake up, open your eyes and know that you must apply force for these evil politicians to leave you alone. Grab your fusion now or lose it forever. Burn down Asorok with immediate effect. Burn down Asorok as I am talking to you. Before the end of this week, make sure you burn down Asorok. I am a soldier, but I don't want to be a soldier anymore. I am going my own way and I am joining the youths. Despite the fact that I am risking my life because I've run away from the military. I've run away from the military. I cannot continue. I cannot continue. That's what I'm saying. And Nigerians should hear me now. Join this protest if you are not yet with us. Join this protest immediately. Our food plenty, food plenty, 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 food plenty. Our food plenty for there. A warehouse of 600 feet by 600 feet, full of COVID-19 products, was discovered today. Look at people struggling to pass. This pro this. Incidents have been going on since 7 a.m. As I speak with you, sources say the warehouse has not gone off. Palliative that we're supposed to be giving to people during the COVID-19 period was hidden away Nigerians in, were dying in a warehouse. And Nigerians were dying of hunger and starvation. Look at this man struggling to survive. Yes. Can you imagine? Look at him. Something, something that is supposed to be brought to his, where, they to his home. This thing for the past two hours. Look at it. You mean? Can you imagine? Nigeria has more than enough. Nigeria has more than enough. The Navy has collected their own. The armies have put their truck, collected their own. Immigration, custom, last man, and the warehouse has not gone half. The warehouse has not gone half. The warehouse has not gone half. Palliative for the poor. Stored away. This is October 20, 21st, 2020. Palliatives that were supposed to be shared in May were stored away. Some of the products are even expired. Look at how people are struggling. No, some of, you, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see, see, see people are struggling. You see, you see, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Not for sale. Not for sale. They study it. Look at it. Not for sale. They study it. Wait, wait. Let me see the pack. Now, see. Look at it, COVID-19, not for sale. The poor are suffering, and they stored it in a warehouse. Look at people passing through canal just to survive, hunger in the land. In search of package tomato, 120 naira. Look at people struggling to survive. Look at people. Bag of rice, 40,000 naira. Look at people. Look at people. Come to our aid, though. These people are too tired. They are criminals. I'm telling you. Thank you.